before this video starts, I'd just like to say happy birthday, Utah Watson Auger, you know what I mean? He's 27 years old, you know what I mean? He's gonna be a demon now. You know, he's gonna pop off the season. He's gonna have a breakout year. Yeah. Superstar Utah! So, also, before we start the video, there's another thing. I just have to do another, you know, edit during the video. But yeah, the Raptors signed Josh Hall to a 10 day contract, so we'll see where that goes. I have no clue what we're gonna do from Pride 905 to be honest. I actually actually don't know. We had like too many people. I don't know how we signed them to be honest. Someone let me in the comment section down below how it works. But yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that we signed Josh Hall to a ten day contract. He used to play for OKC before the Raptors, from uh, what I know. But yeah, now onto the video for real. What's up everybody? It's your boy Blue Nitro back on for you for you guys and take out a brand new uh not even NBA two K video, just uh, another, you know, NBA news video, we're back at it, you know what I mean, it's been a while, you know, kind of just got, you know, tired of making videos, I just couldn't do it, but besides the point, you know, we're, we're back, and we're going to be making Raptors video today, so that's going to be the main topic of the video, and after that, we'll go over some just, you know, general NBA news things around the whole league, and yeah, let's get right into it, so the big news for Raptors today is that they cut two of their players, so then that leaves them with just 18 players left, and they still need to cut one more after that, right? So let's get right into it. So today, about two hours ago, Josh Lundberg, uh, he tweeted, the Raptors have started their roster cuts. We have Freddie Gillespie and Reggie Perry. The roster stands at 18. They'll have to get uh, get it down to 17. So 15 NBA contracts plus a couple two ways by Saturday. So let's just break this down. So they first waived Freddie Gillespie. So we picked him up, if I recall, back last year, late last year, kind of around the time we got Cambridge. Because, you know, we were just down bad on centers. We had, uh, you know, the tank commander, Aaron Baines. He was just, he was so bad. We just need help at just the center spot. So we got just a whole bunch of, you know, centers like Ken Birch and Freddie Gillespie. Obviously, Ken Birch is better than Freddie Gillespie. I'm not trying to compare them. But I'm just saying we got them around the same time last year. And, yeah, Freddie Gillespie, you know, he had a stretch where he was kind of, you know, getting double-doubles and, you know, doing pretty good, playing good defense, you know. What do you expect from a typical, you know, just center slash big? And yeah, I don't know, but just in, even in the summer league this year, he was just playing awful, just missing bunnies and stuff. It was, it was bad. And then just in the preseason, like the last three minutes of probably yesterday's game against the Wizards, he played good. He tried to redeem himself from that. He played good in those last three minutes, but besides that, he wasn't doing much to be honest. He was just kind of there, just not even playing good defense either. He was just kind of getting cooked in the pick and roll. But uh, yeah, so that makes sense why he got waived. Obviously, compared to people like uh, Bonga. Uh, Sam Decker, and you know, you the I'm pretty sure Utah already got his contract, but some people are saying he didn't. And uh, Wayne Ray, obviously, you know, like uh, Freddie Gillespie is not like even closely, you know, good compared to them. He's not even at their level, so it makes sense why they, you know, waved him. Plus, we already have centers as it is. We have Precious, we got Cambridge, so we're going to centers. And uh, yeah, plus we're, our team is pretty much just uh, positionless. We have a whole bunch of people are six nine, six eight, so it doesn't really matter anyways. If we even if one of our centers get injured, so yeah. And then the next one's Reggie Perry. I didn't even know much about this guy. I think he was on the Nets before. I'm not even sure, but yeah, I wasn't expecting to make the team to be honest. I, I knew nothing about him. I yeah, that's not really a shocker. And now, okay, so our roster has 18 spots on it, or 18 people on it as right now after the two cuts, right? So now it's just between. Um, Sam Decker, Ish Wainwright, and Bonga. So, out of those three, I think Bonga's going to get cut. The reason why I'm saying Bonga is because he, he played good defense. Don't get me wrong. He played good defense. And, you know, he, he had a little bit of playmaking to him and stuff. But Sam Decker, you know, they just, they like Sam Decker, Wainwright, they all excel at, like, you know, like certain things. Bonga, I don't really know what he like, excels at. He's not really good at one certain thing. He's not even, like, that good just all around, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't really know. Like, Sam Decker, obviously, last night, popped off. He had 18 points, right? He got a whole bunch of just, you know, he wasn't missing. He got, a whole, he got like, four threes or something. He was not missing at all. He's on fire, right? So, that might have just secured him the spot. I honestly think that secured him the spot just last night's performance. Because before that, he was, um, you know, the game before that, he hit the clutch three, you know what I mean? We still lost, obviously, but he hit that clutch three. And, yeah, so I think he made the just 
the roster just because of last night's performance. That just put him over the top. And then Ishwin, right, obviously, you know, 6'5", you know, he used to play football, you know, he used to play for the Bills, even, you know, at one point for a little bit. He's just a huge guy, you know what I mean? He just gets boards at 6'5", you know, like, I, I think yesterday he got five boards, and he got a couple of threes, you know, I think he got two threes yesterday, six, so yeah, six points, five boards. Yeah, he's a good 3 and D player. Honestly, he's kind of like P.J. Tucker. He could be like P.J. Tucker, or else he not as good right now, like uh, P.J. Tucker, but he could be, he has a type of potential. And yeah, this is a good player you want, just 3 and D player. So it makes sense. Like Sam Decker, sharpshooter, obviously. Uh, Win right, just 3 and D. Like Sam Decker's defense, by the way, it's, it's not that good in my opinion. But you just have him there just for, really like, you know, scoring if you need scoring off the bench or something. And yeah, and then Wayne Wright, you just have there for 3 and D. You know, you can never have enough 3 and D players. Bonga, I don't really think he can shoot from what I've seen. I don't think he can shoot. He can just play defense and play make a bit. And yeah, maybe slash a little bit. But, yeah, that's why I think Bong is going to get cut. And, yeah, we have a deep bench this year, a deep bench. Everyone, I'm just, like, everyone's, first of all, everyone's very tall on the team, right? And, like, most of our players on the team can play defense, except for a few, right? Like, Decker being one of them that can't play defense. But, yeah, it's going to be a good year. You know what I mean? This Raptors team, you know, it's looking nice. You know, we're going to, you know, we're going to just prove some people wrong. You know, I, I feel like we're going to make the playoffs. But, yeah, that was just... <sighs> Our team's just really good. Now on to the next topic. So yeah, the next topic of this video is about Ben Simmons. I know you've already heard enough Ben Simmons stuff. It's just you know, just it's very new, recent news, very new news. So the first thing is that I saw some of the score on Instagram. Right, credit to them. Pretty much, there was a report that came out today saying that Ben Simmons met with Elton Brand and uh, Daryl Morey, and they had a brief, you know, just meeting conversation. So take that for what it is. I guess I don't. I still don't think it's gonna work. It's gonna be really awkward. But that's besides the point. The actual reports from today, the actual significant ones for Ben Simmons: Cleveland, Detroit, Houston, Indiana, Minnesota, Portland, Sacramento, San Antonio, and Toronto have all remained engaged with Philadelphia trade talks centered around Ben Simmons. I honestly think, like, honestly, who really wants Simmons at this point? I mean, these teams want Simmons still, but honestly, like after what he said and stuff. And his actions, I don't, I don't think that'd be a good fit on any team, to be honest. But besides the point, one team in particular that was listed from that uh, being the Pistons. A report, another report about Ben Simmons that the Pistons came out today. The Detroit Pistons are among teams interested in Simmons, right? We already knew that from the first report. And this is a quote. It's believed the Pistons would entertain moving Jeremy Grant to acquire Simmons. So that first part right there. It's believed the Pistons will entertain moving Jeremy Grant to acquire Simmons. That would be a good trade. That would be a good trade for the Pistons, honestly. Just trading, you know, Jeremy Grant, uh, you know, for Simmons. Simmons is way better, in my opinion. Like, I know he can't shoot, and, you know, Jeremy Grant can. But I just think he's just a significant upgrade, to be honest. And, yeah, but for the 76ers side, that would be bad. That would literally be a downgrade. That would not even, that would make them worse. You know what I mean? Like, I know as of right now, they're not going to get anything good because everyone knows he doesn't want to be there and stuff. So, it's kind of going to, you know, lowball the 76ers. But, wow, just the price they were asking for, man, at the beginning. Like, I remember the one report, they were asking for, like, a whole bunch of draft picks. And, like, I think it was just recently. They were asking for top uh, three first-round draft picks from the Trailblazers. But, yeah, and probably Dame or, Dame or CJ, something like that. Something ridiculous. But, yeah, they're, they're coming down to earth now, realizing that they're just asking too much. And then the next part of it is, yeah, it's hard to see the former Sam Yankee draft pick definitely improve in Philadelphia style. So, yeah, as I was saying, the 76ers aren't going to get better. They're, in my opinion, going to get worse. So, yeah, I don't think that's a – this is not good. That is not a good trade for the 76ers, to be honest. Just going from trying to get even Dame, you know, trying to negotiate for getting Dame for Simmons. Yeah. And then the last part I want to just, you know, end it off with is the, you know, just – I saw us going around yesterday after the whole Kyrie situation, you know. We're not going to talk about the politics about it or whatever. That doesn't matter. But just about the basketball stuff, Kyrie's just not going to be able to, like, if he does not get the, get the you know, the shot, man, he's not going to be able to play then for the rest of the season, right? And that's just going to be a huge hit, a huge hit to the Nets, man. Because that just means the East is open. That means the Bucks could just get to the finals. That means, uh, I don't know what other teams are there. I can't even remember right now. I'm just... I, I can't remember what teams, but yeah, just a whole bunch of teams could just, you know, get to the finals and beat the Nets. Like, 
I, I have faith in the Bucks will be in the Nets now. If Kyrie's not playing, right? But you never know what could change. Kyrie could just, you know, get the shot and then play. And then, you know, they're back to being the title favorites, right? But if he doesn't play, then he might get traded. And if he gets traded, he said he might retire. And, yeah, there's a lot of different possibilities. It's either he plays, he just sits out and they don't trade him. Or he uh, gets traded and retires. Or he just gets traded and just doesn't retire and just plays for a different team. Right? A whole bunch of different things could happen. And yeah, for the Ben Simmons and Kyrie trade part, that could that could happen, but it's very unlikely because Kyrie said, you know, he would retire if he got traded. And yeah, uh, I mean, I don't think the 76ers would want to do it either way because of uh, the other situation with Kyrie as well. So I don't think it really makes sense. It, it is possible. It just makes sense from the situations they're both in. They both have heat right now. And they're, they're, uh, their trade stock's low, but besides, I don't really think it makes sense. It's kind of, you know cool thinking about uh that situation like the possibilities but i don't think it's realistic so yeah that's gonna you know wrap it up for this video i'll see you in the next one peace superstar utah <laughs>